And joining me to talk about last night's special election results is political science professor Dr. Lee Hanna from Wright State University. This was a special election that really made national headlines. A lot of people have been uh, following this. It's in Ohio, obviously, so there's, sure. you know, Ohio is huge when it comes to election time. But coming down to the few final votes still this morning, what do you think that this says about Ohio's voters? Yes, you're right. Everybody is really watching this race. This is the last special election before we go to the November midterms. And if you Think about the past two years. As any major event happens, often people say, will this affect 2018? That's kind of the next question. And so the, now we're right here. We're kind of on the doorsteps, just 13 weeks out. And um, and what we've seen in many of these special elections is Democrats closing this gap. Um, there are a number of um, you know, scholars out there have kind of put together these partisan lean ratings. This is a district that, you know, all things equal, leans about 14 points to the Republicans. And we've seen that Democrats on average Average in these special elections have closed the gap by about 13 or 14 points. So this was kind of right on track with the other races that we've seen occurring in other parts of the country, Georgia going back to last May um, and uh, Pennsylvania. So, so this is another kind of sign that at least from this one election, Democrats seem to be gaining. Which is interesting because we mentioned in that, or Greg had mentioned in that script earlier, mm -hmm. this has been in Republican control, this 12th congressional district for the past 35 years. So does that mean Ohio's always been been a swing state, but does that mean voters are starting to swing over to the Democratic side in Ohio? So we know that it's almost a law at this point that, that the president's party loses seats in midterms. In fact, if you look back over the last 40 years, only in two midterm elections have the president's seat. The president's party actually picked up seats. Um, so in that case, this is not uncommon. Uh, the president comes in and over two years, they can't meet all the promises that people want. People start to want change. Um, you know, Some candidates maybe rode the president's Coattail vulnerable. Um, so if you look at 2010 and 2014 for Obama, lost huge seats, 2006 for Bush as well. So the fact that, that they're at risk is kind of baked into the way the electorate has always worked, but certainly overperforming at this level, at least it now suggests that the Democrats should be very well positioned to take the House at least come, uh, come November. Which is kind of, you led me into my next question yes. quickly. Is this mm -hmm. a test for the president? And is this sort of a sign of things to come for the November midterms. I think that, that it will be a test for the president. Obviously, he wants to keep a chamber. And regardless of who wins a seat, as Greg said, they're only going to be in office for, for a few months. And really, they're just going to start campaigning right away. Um, and so, you know, he, in order to really achieve some of his legislative goals, in order to maybe even stay protected from, uh, you know, more investigations, uh, you know, this is certainly, certainly a test. And so whether or not he and Vice President Pence's um, presence really mm -hmm. moved the meter. Um, you know, it's, it's, that's really difficult to determine just with one election, and that's why when we have 435 races in November, we'll obviously know a lot more about where they are and aren't playing well with voters. Do you think the vice president's presence and the president's presidents? Do you think that it may have helped Troy Balderson in this, or do you think it may have hurt? Troy Balderson. So if we look at where um, where these special elections, where candidates have gotten strength and where they haven't, uh, these rural counties that went really deep red for President Trump have not turned out in the same numbers in these special elections, where the suburban counties, they're turning a little more blue, but there's still some, you know, some pretty deep Republican, uh, you know, uh, bonds there. So so we'll we'll see what um, what comes of, of, of November, you know, to what extent President Trump has has coattails and, and where where it will matter, but certainly all signs point towards the Democrats being in decent position in the House. This is much more difficult for a number of, of factors. All right, Dr. Lee Hanna from yeah. Wright State University, thank you so much. Our thank time you. right now, seven oh seven.